We all know the story of Christopher Columbus. He surely didn't discover the new world, as there were people already living there, of course. Nor was he the first European to have made contact with the new continent. In fact, the title would go to everyone's favorites, the Vikings. More specifically to Leif Erikson. Leif and his crew arrived and settled briefly on eastern Canada about 500 years before the era of Christopher Columbus. Which is pretty fascinating in my opinion. And yes, today, the 9th of October, is Leif Erikson Day. Which is pretty much the reason I've decided to make this video. Before we continue though, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. But anyway, during the Viking Age, Vikings were known to be murderous raiders who made medieval Europe a real pain to live in, way more than it already was. But in fact, they were also great explorers. By the year 950, the Vikings had a great deal of control over Northern Europe. Having recently colonized the Faroe Islands and Iceland. We begin our story with Thorvald Asvaldsson, who was actually the grandfather of Leif Erikson. He used to live in Norway, and eventually would be exiled because of manslaughter, which might be common among Vikings because of their nature and all, but I guess he might have taken it too far, even for Viking standards. But, anyways, he was banished to Iceland and eventually settled down in there. One of his children would eventually grow up to be the famous Eric the Red, who funnily enough followed his father's footsteps and would eventually be banished from Iceland as well. Again, the reason was manslaughter. Instead of going to Norway, he then landed in Greenland, spending his time during the banishment on exploring the island, and he would eventually start the first European settlement there. A little fact I found really interesting is that he named the island Greenland because he thought the name would attract more visitors, which as you might know already was largely misleading. Because Greenland is pretty much the epitome of cold, barren, and uninhabitable. But I digress. By the year 960, a merchant by the name of Bjarni Herdrofsson, again I'm really sorry if I didn't pronounce that quite well, would eventually get blown off course it would actually see parts of present-day Canada. He didn't make any landings though, he just saw them. Moving forward with the timeline, Leif Erikson would be born in the year 970. And by the way, if you didn't know how Scandinavian surnames work, because Leif is the son of Eric the Red, his last name is Erikson, because he's the son of Eric. But anyway, Leif eventually becomes an explorer, King Olaf of Norway would eventually convert Leif to Christianity and would ask him to Christianize the rest of Greenland. Leif accepted his new religion without any problems. His father, Eric, was furious about the fact that Leif would abandon his old religion. How dare you! On the other hand, Leif's mother would eventually become a Christian and build a church. Leif got a crew of 35 people, but they would all eventually get blown off course. He would land first in what he named Helluland, which means land of the flat rocks. This place is estimated to have been Baffin Island. Venturing down south, he will later on land on Markland, which means forested land, which probably was in the coast of Labrador. And finally, he reached the place with mild climate and vast amounts of salmon. Leif would name the place Vinland, which means land of grapes or vines. Because winter was approaching, the crew decided to camp for the rest of the season. The little settlement would eventually be called Leifsbudir, again I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce that right. But anyways, after a successful expedition, Leif would return to Greenland, inspiring future Norse voyages. Thorvald Eriksson, which is Leif's brother, sailed to Vinland as well. He would later encounter Native Americans for the very first time. They didn't exactly sit down for tea though, because the encounter soon turned into conflict. Thorvald was killed in battle. And Thorstein, which is another of Leif's brothers, would eventually come west to try to return the corpse, without ever returning to Greenland. Yeah, of course, there were a few expeditions here and there, but at the end of the day, nothing really happened. Leif Erikson was the first recorded European that we know of to have set foot in the New World, and also technically the first Christian missionary. I really find this story quite fascinating, which is why I decided to share it with all of you guys for Leif Erikson Day. If you guys like this video, please consider subscribing, liking, or commenting. If you'd like to support me, you can purchase some of my new merch collection, featuring Vinland. Patreon is also an option and it has cool perks if you want to try it out. 
Anyway, thank you everyone so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.